behind it. Good call. Good call. Gotcha. Army. I'm planting the Zeus. Zeus has been planted. I mean. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I know there's a good amount of you that are into first person shooters, especially multiplayer ones, and have felt for the past, let's say year or even couple years that the FPS market from multiplayer standpoint has been kind of lacking. Well, today we might have a game that is going to solve that problem. Today, I'm pretty excited to announce I was able to check out this upcoming game that has the potential to redefine the tactical shooter space, and it's called Spectre Divide. This game is developed by an independent studio known as Mountaintop, and after playing almost 10 hours of Spectre Divide, I can confidently say that this isn't just another tactical shooter. It actually introduces some innovative, groundbreaking features that truly changes your mindset when playing tactical shooters. I even had a chance to interview two of the lead developers, Nate and Lee, some of the brilliant minds behind this project, and I'll be sharing some of their exclusive insights from our conversation. So let's get into it. So first off, Spectre Divide is a competitive 3v3 tactical shooter set in the near future city of Breakwater. The game centers around the concept of duality, an innovative mechanic where you control two bodies in real time. That's right, I know it sounds confusing, but you actually have two characters that you can swap in between at any moment in a match. This unique feature allows you to defend two sites simultaneously, cover your own sight lines, or even trade yourself in the heat of battle. I had a moment where I realized, oh my god, it's the meme, trust nobody, not even yourself. Now, duality isn't just a gimmick here, it is a fundamental aspect of this game. Every map, piece of equipment, and weapon is designed with duality in mind, creating a very deeply integrated and thought out experience. As Nate mentioned during our interview, duality is about using both bodies in perfect harmony in the right situations for the pair. Another key innovation in Spectre Divide is how it finds this perfect middle ground between hardcore tactical shooters like CSGO and Valorant and more casual, movement-oriented shooters like Apex Legends and Call of Duty. This is achieved through its unique ADS aim down sights gunplay system. Now, unlike traditional tactical shooters where movement and shooting accuracy is often at odds with each other, Spectre Divide allows for accurate shooting while moving thanks to its true-to-crosshair accuracy and deterministic spray patterns. Lee explained the reasoning behind this design choice, saying, Moving and shooting just feels awesome, and it changes the game in terms of, you know, you're shooting against moving targets, you'll get to be more dynamic, and that just feels great. This design choice not only makes the game more accessible, but allows a layer of depth and fluidity to the combat. Finding this balance between tactical depth and casual accessibility is a delicate task, but Spectre Divide seems to absolutely nail it. The game features no sprinting, emphasizing strategic positioning and methodical gameplay over constant running gun action that you might find in Call of Duty. This decision enhances the tension and tactical depth within each encounter between both teams. As Lee mentioned, our core verb is sneak, and it's about tense tactical gunplay, so a lot of that leads to tense moments that build up to an explosion of combat. Furthermore, the absence of ultimate abilities, a staple in many modern shooters, specifically hero shooters, keeps the focus on gunplay and strategy. This approach is refreshing and ensures that every victory feels earned through skill and teamwork. Spectre Divide also places a strong emphasis on community and personalization. Players can compete solo or with their team in ranked modes, participate in weekly competitions with their crew, and customize their pair of competitors with a variety of cosmetic options. The monetization model is pretty straightforward and fair, with no loot boxes or pay-to-win mechanics. All cosmetics can be earned through direct purchase of their store, and also visual upgrades that can be earned by grinding the game. As Lee mentioned, we have character and weapon cosmetics, and then we have sponsors. Sponsors, out of the eight starting, you'll get four of them for free, and four will be locked. And then the locked ones you can either grind for 20 to 30 hours, or pay to accelerate and get it right away. This model ensures that all players, regardless of spending, have a fair and enjoyable experience. This game represents a bold step forward for the tactical shooter genre. Its refreshing duality mechanic combined with the balanced approach to ADS gunplay and movement creates something truly unique that hasn't been seen in the tactical shooter space in a good minute. Its emphasis on community, fair monetization, and deep customization is just the cherry on top. 
In our interview, Nate summed it up perfectly. Duality being our marquee kind of evolution on the genre, and then the ADS gunplay being like a final nail in the coffin of really opening this game up to players that can't find the tactical shooter that's right for them. Jokingly, at the end of the interview, I asked both for a little bit of tips and tricks and what do they think is low-key the most underrated loadout in the game. For Nate, it was actually a tier 1 combo of using the shotgun and the SMG, the bouncer, and for Lee, he recommends that players don't sleep on the burst trident rifle. Closing out, I asked them where would they like to see Spectre divide in 6 months after it launched, and Nate said that they just really want a community that loves the game and wants them to keep improving and making the game better, and that's really what's going to be fueling them as they continue working on this game after launch. And that's my first look at Spectre Divide. If you're a fan of tactical shooters or you're just looking for something fresh and new in the shooter space, I definitely recommend keeping an eye on this one. I can't wait to see how this game evolves and impacts the genre. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for more updates on Spectre Divide and other exciting games that I'll be talking about soon on the channel. If you're interested in Spectre Divide, I'll put a link in the description below. And if I'm able to as well, I'll put a full transcript of my interview with them also in the description below. Until next time, don't forget you can move in ADS. All right, see you guys later. Peace. No, he's weak. He's weak. Woo. Ready on the six. Oh, man. Bro, bro took out his knife. He challenged <laughs> you to the arm. Round one. I'm not going to lie, I got scared. <laughs> <laughs>